J like the letter, I'm making several waves I know the mission is same I made a splash, now all of my past is last Like running the race with Usain I keep it coming like this a buffet And if I'm stumbling, I'm in the crowd. And you just go through it like that But part of it, it should be an unbiased thing Where we're walking into Test the day before Do you and Dave have the I feel like Sam Sulek We're on our way right now to go to the gym um, but we gotta get gas first because I realized I'm 10 miles until empty. Heather is like in love with this. I freaking hate this. I hate it. I uh, I don't really pay attention to my gas that much, so we're getting gas. Three in a row. We are smashing content, dude. I'm just trying to post as much content as possible, and I think that documenting the process up to this CrossFit qualifier. We'll do, we'll just do just that. It will provide me with enough content to be able to show you guys, make it interesting for me and also add value. Because again, this is like a, you know, this channel started off talking about chronic illness and POTS syndrome. And, um, but I, rather, I just kind of want to show you guys like what your body's capable of, show you that you're resilient and then also give value to people that are not suffering with chronic illness because I think that that's important too. Like a lot of people just in general lack motivation and lack the ability to kind of, you know, get through hard times and stuff. So I just want to appeal to, to all something that I want to talk about is that I would be lying to you guys if I said that I was like extremely ready for this session. I was excited for this session because it had a lot of things that I haven't trained in a long time. It had a lot of things that I hadn't put together in a workout in a long time. And I was excited to test the limits and see where I'm at. But about three and a half, maybe four weeks ago now, I did something to my low back. And um, it took me out for like three weeks. And so I've been fighting to get my fitness back. Last week was the week where my coach emailed me and she was like, hey, how are you feeling? I was like, you know what? I don't want to baby this anymore. Like, I think that we need to start building strength and resiliency in my back rather than just babying it. And she's like, yeah, I think that you're right. I think that we do need to do that too. So since last week, I've been fighting to get my fitness back. Thankfully, it came back pretty quickly. Um, but I'd be lying to you guys if I told you that I was like, you know, ready. I was super sore because I haven't trained, really trained in three weeks. Um, I've been just getting, like I said, getting my fitness back, fighting to get that back. And my sessions leading up to today, so Monday and Tuesday, got me feeling like crap. Got me feeling really sore. And then... I remembered this thing that my coach had told me like a couple years ago and it rung true. And I just, it really made me rethink and it kind of made me think about the things that I tell you guys on this channel and tell my clients and you know, the mindset thing, because your mind is so much stronger than your body. Your body tells you to quit. Your mind can tell you to keep going. So that's what we that's what we are about to talk about in this next clip right here where I almost threw up. <laughs> I just gagged twice. I've never felt that like feeling from the bottom of your stomach, like force coming up like that, you know? Except for one time when I like first started working out. My coach at the time, his name is Glenn. Kirk used to work there. He had me do battle rope intervals. And oh my gosh, was I rocked, dude. <laughs> he killed me. I ran straight to the toilet, put my head in it, I never threw up because I'm scared of throwing up, phobia. But, so I just like, I tend to swallow my, my vomit when I need it's to throw disgusting. up. disgusting. I know. I don't think I'm gonna throw up anymore. No. You know what's concerning to me? Huh? I haven't peed this entire time I've been here. Have you been drinking fluids? Yeah, a lot. I haven't worked out like that either in weeks. Like my ring muscle up sucked today. My cardio is actually pretty good and surprisingly my strength too for those movements like 155 shoulder to overhead I literally have not done in over a year for reps in over a year I haven't done 155 shoulder overhead in a workout for reps which is nuts that I was able to do it today I'm actually super proud and happy about that came into this workout today like ridiculously sore and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through this and this is one thing that I think a lot of people get wrong about training or working out 
is they feel too tired or they feel really sore so they think that they're not gonna have a productive workout but intrinsically the feelings that you have about how you feel um, a lot of times don't align with what your performance can be in the gym or how you're actually gonna do in the gym or if you're gonna have a good workout something that stuck out to me a long time ago my coach said to me there was a uh, open workout for those of you guys that don't know what the open is it's basically just part of the CrossFit season. You do a bunch of workouts for a few weeks and then you progress to the next level. Um, I was rocked from a workout. Like, I thought I had rhabdo going down the stairs like I couldn't move. And I told her, I was like, I'm really, really rough. I don't know if I'm gonna get through it. She said, good thing you can work out when you're sore. And that has stuck with me ever since. And I actually matched my score from the last time I tried feeling that bad. So, for those of you that think, oh, I'm so tired today. I'm too sore, it's not gonna be a good workout. Cut that shit, because it doesn't mean anything. You might go in and have the best workout of your life, and also, working out while sore will help you build resiliency so you can continue to work out in those states. Oh man, I don't feel good after that, but, but I feel good. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? I don't feel good, but I feel good. Mm -hmm. I feel proud, never satisfied.